50 is going to go into production in financial year 2016. Uh, the big uh, deal about this is that not only is this is Honda's first CKD project in India, but that is an inline four engine. It's a 650cc engine that makes about 90 bhp. It's going to be a reasonably priced fairly fast inline four motorcycle that you can buy and I can tell you Indians love inline fours. It's a big announcement, it's, there's still some time to come before we can buy this motorcycle but it's a tremendous move forward for Honda to do this in India. So behind me is the new Suzuki Jigsa and uh, yes it's a pretty interesting choice of name because yes to all of us who understand uh, Suzuki's history of motorcycles the Jigsa is actually the GSXR, which is a performance motorcycle. That is a 155cc motorcycle, which is not necessarily saying it's not a performance motorcycle, but it certainly isn't in the same league that you and I are thinking about, which is the 600 or the, or the 1000. But to be fair to the motorcycle, as a 150cc motorcycle goes, it's a very, very dramatically good looking motorcycle. There are very nice panels on it. Uh, the rear monoshock makes the rear end also look very nice, light and lead. And while there is no uh, price promise yet, they're saying it's going to be so competitive that that's actually going to be the clincher. That's the reason why you're going to buy it. And that the motorcycle will go on sale soon, it's not on sale yet, so you can't actually buy one just now. So behind me is the new Suzuki Lightning, well it's not called the Lightning, it's called the Inazuma, but Inazuma means Lightning in Japanese. And as you can see, what it is, is a motorcycle that's styled to look like the B-King, which is why I affectionately refer to it as the V-King. Uh, what it's got is a 250cc parallel twin that makes about 25 PS. And uh, it's an interesting proposition because it enters a space full of very very sporty motorcycles and that on the other hand is a high quality motorcycle with a reasonably powerful engine, a lot of torque and the international reviews say actually that it's a very very uh, persuasive proposition in terms of riding if you're looking for a uh, let's say a superlative